Hello, hello, testing, one, two, three. Hopefully everyone can hear my voice. We are getting the stream all tidied up. I'm seeing chatters on YouTube and Twitch. Welcome, welcome. We're getting started here in about four, three minutes. Yeah, Gary, you can say hi too if you want. You can sneak it in. Hello. <laughs> nice. Just uh, throwing things around at my computer desk. Everything's fine. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the official Rockfish Games stream of Everspace 2. I am your host, your community ambassador, Eric. I am joined today by Gary Geekbyte, our community manager. Howdy. We're here to serve you. We're going to showcase uh, at least one new thing. If RNG is kind to us, we might be able to show a couple more. Um, but yeah. Today's going to be a nice, chill stream cruising through our incredibly challenging nightmare difficulty <laughs> in a late game setup. Um, we're looking to find as much loot as we possibly can, honestly. Um, so we are at a phase in development here with the incursions uh, update, um, getting, you know, somewhat closer 
ish, right? I think we said that it was uh, going to come out in uh, spring of this year, and I I can't tell, but I think it's spring. Um, so uh, <laughs> yeah, so there's exciting things that are getting somewhat close ish, um, and we are bound to have things be seen that you're not supposed to see yet. It's just going to happen. So if you see those things, uh, don't tell my boss. Cool? Excellent. I love you. Ah, so good we got that out of the way. All right, so we are going to be moving over to uh, getting a scout, because the very first thing I want to do is talk about some scout changes, and then we're just going to use it. We're just going to fly it. We're going to feel it. We're going to have some fun with it. So Gary, I do need you to go away. See you later. All right, very good. Perfect. And uh, yeah, let's go get a scout. So this is literally picking up where we left off. Um, I think I maybe adjusted like one or two things. Like I got rid of a bunch of my inventory that I wasn't going to, uh, didn't need, honestly. Um, we do have figure of eight. So I guess that's something for some people who maybe haven't seen that yet. But our ship is like exactly the same. It's still this bad boy. Uh, let me know if the sound is like crazy low. Is that crazy low? That is really low. Hang on a second. Let's try that. Let me know if that's that's better for you guys. Uh, but we are going to start things off. We're going to head straight over to Prescott. Because I think we can grab a scout over there. And the chat is immediately just gone in a completely different direction. I love it. Welcome everybody. So many wonderful faces across Twitch and YouTube. I'm expecting a couple from Facebook and maybe even Steam. You guys are also our viewers and we love to hear from you. So let's see, we need to head over to this freelancer hangar and hoping, 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 hoping that there is a delicious looking scout to pick up. My guess is there probably is, because I probably did a test run of this beforehand. Uh, oh my gosh, look at that. There's a nice fresh one looking super clean right there. Let's go ahead and check out its passives. We've got 100% increased boost energy regeneration during Shadow Strike. Nice. Five seconds of invincibility after Shadow Strike. That's also pretty cool. Uh, and 50% reduced spread to all primary weapons. Not bad. Gives me some ideas what I could play around with, some long range weaponry that's not railgun. Uh, but let's see what our other options are. Increased weapon range, increased device activation range, and increased, increased cloaking duration. We're gonna keep that one. That's the one that we want. So perfect, we're gonna do that. Um, let's go ahead and just hover over Shadow Strike, but not show it quite yet. Um, and look at the difference that it is by not comparing it to the prior one. Uh, what it says here is that it now renders the ship invisible to enemies and it grants an additional critical hit chance of up to 20 percent okay when you fire your weapons or use device it will break the cloak but killing an enemy will restore the cloak and extends the duration by two seconds up to 20 seconds now for those of you who are familiar with the previous scout or excuse me for those of you who aren't familiar with the previous scout ultimate uh effectively what it would do is it would provide a cloak permanently and over time it would build up an attack damage thing and if you waited for that certain amount of time for it to maximize then you gain a strong attack and then you're the idea behind it is that you would not attack and you're still cloaked and so the enemies couldn't find you it would build up again you could do an attack but there wasn't much of a trade-off with that and it was also kind of hard to use basically any other weapon with so here we're kind of re-optimizing it for many more opportunities of weapon usage while also having an effect of it's probably better to use a railgun because if you do uh, miss a shot or you uh, don't take out your enemy, you do lose your de you do lose your cloak. You'll have to re-earn that by getting another enemy killed. And if you do use this effectively, you will extend the duration of the alt itself, as you can see, up to twenty seconds. Okay, lots and lots and lots of added benefits here through this change uh, but the primary benefit is for uh, more opportunities of use and we're going to see that directly once we buy this little ship uh, we're going to just buy and sell the current one i think 
Uh, yeah, let's do that. Grab this bad boy. Delightful. I'm already seeing questions coming in for the, the scout. Ah, that's great, that's great. Let's go ahead and um, ensure that we've got this thing customized a little bit more to our liking. Uh, Cause you know, I like I like to customize uh, quite a healthy bit. Um, for Since it's gonna be cloaking, we might as well make it look really super bright. Uh, outside of the cloak well, let's see let's see what uh let's see what random chance gives us first just do it that's not bad just a couple of different options here i like that one too i need a dominant color can somebody just list off a, a dominant color that they think the ship should look just on a general basis just, i'm just looking looking for a, i see red all right red was the first one i saw i see orange as well so we'll, we'll have to go with red and orange. All right. The deed is done. <laughs> so we got crimson and rust uh, here. Let's go ahead and make our third color either stand out a bit more or let's see. Maybe we could even give it kind of a neutral color. Eh. Well, you don't want to go too crazy, you know. I say that and that actually kind of looks cool. I kind of like that. You know what? Why not? Let's just slap that on there. Just like so. Uh, we've got a number of window tents. Our engine colors, we still need to unlock a, a number more uh, through challenges. But we'll just uh, we'll just keep these because it actually goes with that last little highlight color. Same with the emissive lights. We'll keep that, those things the same. I think we have a professional decal. Yep, yep, yep. That's good. That's good. This will work. This will work. I like it. And we're going to retain our devices. I do think we're going to be changing missile defense system out soon because Omnimanus is looking a little underleveled here. So we're going to need something new to uh, probably plug in there. So, yeah, it's definitely, definitely need an upgrade. What can we get from the shop? Let's see. Probably want some new armor, maybe, because armor plating is nice to have. But that's honestly not the best upgrade at this time. Plus, a scout dies in one hit anyway, you know. So, so we'll wait. We'll see what we'll see what drops instead. All right. So let's take out this scout for a spin. And I also noticed that, like, whenever I was uh, going through all of the uh, different details of this run, look at all these side missions we have active. We haven't been doing any of them. Blah. So we're probably going to maybe do a side mission uh, while we're doing this showcase. Um, but uh, I also noticed that on our map, specifically in Cedo, there were a number of locations that I have yet to even 100% complete. What? What in the world? So let's start that process a little bit. So we'll head back over to Cedo. And then start getting some 100%. Mm. Beautiful. Through the course of the stream, for anybody who has never been here before, welcome, for one. We will be answering all the questions that you may have pertaining to whatever is shown here or even things that aren't shown. We'll do our best to respond to all questions. We will respond to those questions at certain intervals of the stream. So if you ask a question and it feels like Nobody's listening to you. Nobody heard you. Uh, that's incorrect. We absolutely did. We just wait for key moments during the stream to respond. All right. So I think there was one over here that I hadn't finished yet. Yeah. 50% completion. So there's going to be stuff to find. Let's just head on over that direction. Excellent. Plus, I don't know about you guys, but it's like been a while since I've... Listen to the Cedo music. Mm. Makes me happy. All right. So we want to find the rest of the stuff here, which means we're going to be poking and prodding about while also taking out some enemies to build up our alts. 
to showcase the difference. Ooh, 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 ouch, ouch, ouch. Already with the pain and suffering. I do not like that. Oh my goodness. This poor little scout. He's tiny. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna blow. Yep. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> maybe I maybe I sort of uh, underestimated myself with a ship that is made out of paper. <laughs> Try that again. 27 people, 27. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that, Gary. No worries. Now, if I wanted to get super cheeky, I could just craft a railgun here, but that's too easy. I want to make things harder on myself. But I will be using figure of eight this time. See if we can get it close enough. All right, let's get you first because you're closer. Goodness gravy. All that for some nanobots. But I mean, in fairness, that's going to be good for us. If that's the way things keep going, at least. Whew. All right. So now we want to start exploring this place. That teleport drone. Oh my gosh. I'm not excited for it. But whenever he shows his face, we are absolutely going to be greeting him with a uh, figure of eight. be nice to collect some resources because you know we have an overabundance of them at this point you can never have too much where are my hoarders at i definitely do need a new weapon though this pulse laser you know it's nice but it's not going to get the job done not for what we need it for, at least. Now, sometimes various loot containers will generate somewhere around these debris fields, which is why I'm kind of like going in a little bit closer towards the, uh, the mines, you know, those things that could kill us. Because we could find incredibly worthless things like this, for example. We want to we want to make sure that there's no chance that it could actually be decent. All right, more copper. Actually, what is our okay we're at we have a level 24 it's a standard boost focused energy core all right that's interesting it's kind of wondering why our uh, weapons were struggling a little bit on the maintaining of firing definitely something we'll have to probably upgrade sooner than later but i do see a couple more drones they shouldn't be too hard But they will build up our alt a little bit further, so we'll appreciate those kills. All right. Oh, Atheum. Definitely want to pick those up, too. But yeah, how goes your week, everybody? I want to know. It's been a particularly interesting week for myself. <laughs> 
But it's always nice to know how you guys are doing in these Friday streams. Pretty sure we've picked this site clean. Try going over here, seeing what we got. Scout is the only lightweight ship in Everspace One that is correct. That is very true. Everspace Two does have three lightweight ships. That's good enough. Viable shipwreck. We got a sustained Jaeger. I think that's actually going to be slightly better. Yep. So we'll take that and scrap this one. Uh, ironically, I kind of like how this is more balanced. <laughs> but because it's worse on all degrees, um, yeah, we can't do that. And we'll take the blueprint. All right. Kala's... Special perk is now working its magic. We just have to find a way in here. That was easy. Uh, autonomous Bay. Let's see. We only have one of the opulence sets, so both of these are kind of... It's 50-50. We can hold more but slightly less firepower. I do like the re reduced uh, boost from the one we currently have. Probably doesn't matter too much, but that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to stick with. So there we go. One territory completed. Let's move on to the next one. Let's see, 100% here. What do we got? 50, 73, 0. Oh, boy. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, Siren C, this could be a little tricky. It'll be nice. You know, I'm always uh, I'm always surprised whenever I'm checking like the the forums and seeing what people are talking about pertaining to to Everspace Two. The expectations some players have it's uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. Like, all space games are the same, apparently, until you start playing it. And then you're like, why isn't this space game the same as the other space game that I was expecting it to be like? And uh, all hell breaks loose. It's crazy. It is crazy. But we are happy for those who appreciate what we have concocted here. Especially those who will help their fellow pilot out on the forums in the discord reddit wherever you're at for some reason i thought i had destroyed him we also uh speaking of destroy come here okay we want to destroy this guy with one of his own minds so we've been trying to do that for a while there we go oh that's so nice Excellent. So let's actually, um, let's go to our outlaw hunt now. We did that one. Destroy all armor plates of a Bloodstar Overseer. Oh, you know, we're, we're in the right territory for that. We'll just go ahead and add it to our list and maybe we'll find something. It's kind of funny. I started going into Everspace 1 mode. <laughs> For those of you who play Everspace One, when you find something like this, all of these are destructible. And I was like, yeah, I need free loot. Excellent. No, wait a second. No, we, we changed certain <laughs> interactions and systems. That doesn't work like that anymore. Oh, my goodness. The breakable crates look a little different now. Whoops. Ha! That sucks. Get it? Get it? Cause, cause they're, cause they get. St 
All right. Gonna be a little bit more uh, careful on this front. Ouch! It'd be really great as I have my ultimate right now. Feel like I'm not even hitting them. Oh my gosh. There we go. Whew. Powerful prime zapper. That might be the trick that we are looking for. Not only does it have that sort of uh, range benefit, but you'll see that, um, I mean, I guess it's less range than the, than the uh, sustained Jaeger, but um, the damage output, I think, is really what we're looking for here. So we're going to definitely take it on. We're so close to getting this uh, ult. There it is. So I could use it on turrets. It's a little boring, but why not? Okay. So has this sort of look that you guys are familiar with? Now we're uncloaked. We are cloaked again. We have our attacks. We're gonna cloak, uncloak. Oh, come on. Now we're cloaked again. Every time we do that, we extend the cloak duration, except now I'm gonna turn it off to save whatever I could, which was not much. So it's a very similar system to what uh, it was actually used as before. But now there's a bit more intentionality with its use. As you can also tell that it's not just a, you must use a railgun with this situation. Now I have, I can't remember, we did all of this already. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna need that. At least not right now. We might need that for another situation nearby. But for now we're just gonna we're just gonna go. Also Kala's perk coming in clutch once again. You guys enjoying the armed and dangerous update? We're pretty happy with the additions and adjustments that uh, free update has created for you all. What do we got? Ooh, mainframe component and annihilator virus. Well, we have both of those things, but another mainframe component is always nice. Truth be told, I thought Siren C was gonna take us longer. But I'll take it. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this search area before we go to the next site. Wait a second, I know there's a trick to this. I just have to find it. Let's start overseer. Hey, maybe we can get all the plates off of him. Or we can uh, or we can die. But either way, it's gonna be great! Let's try to get a little closer. Try to maintain this, yes. Ouch, 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 ouch. Where are you? Oh my gosh. It's moving faster than I thought.
Okay, there we go. Probably not the best state to be trying to do this challenge, but, uh, you know what, why not? Ow! There. There, come on. Come on, there. No, ah, ah. Did we get it? Nope. Ah. He's so close to death. Where's the shiny bits? Where are they? Right there. Come on, break off in there. Yeah, we got it. Excellent. All right. That feels good. Wow, we got some really good loot there, too. All right, we'll finish this area. We'll top off our challenge. At least I hope. Let's actually look at that real quick, because I know that there is a mastery. Destroy an outlaw sniper drone from at least 3,000 meter distance. Well, that's perfect for us right now in the scout. We will need a real gun, though. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Mm. Oh, you stop, stop bragging, Adam. That does not help our situation. The worst part is that we don't have anything to, like, hide behind. That teleport <laughs> drone. That was worst timing. Worst timing. Oh, my gosh. That All right. Be 28 death net. I believe so. Man, two in the stream today already. Whew. All right. All right. Maybe I should just go ahead and craft a new weapon instead of, uh... <laughs> pretending like I can do all of this. Wait, did we did we at least complete the challenge? Did it? Okay, cool. We, we got the challenge taken care of. It auto-saved right after that. Thank goodness we updated the auto-save feature and the Armed and Dangerous update. Whew! We're just, gonna, we're just leaving. Just leaving. Next, next location. Excellent. Whew! Two in one stream, Eric's losing his touch. I guess I am. You know, I will actually say that, like, and this goes for all of you out there. It's great to explore what the different ships have to offer. When you first jump from ship to ship, there is going to be kind of like this awkward sort of phase of what am I doing and why does this keep happening? Because the ships do actually operate pretty differently from one another. It's not just a simple matter of, oh, it has a different shape. And it has a different ultimate. No, there, there's a, there's a quite a bit of nuance, and especially if you go from something very comfortable, like a, say a gunship, for example, to a light ship, any of the light ships, it's gonna feel, uh, it's gonna feel awkward at best. Uh, we are having a, another core issue here because I'd really like to gain some health, and these weapons are all close range. We did get our health back. So that's good. All right, let's see. Prospector. Ugh. I think we want to focus him down first. The good news is that we keep jamming his weapons. The bad news is he's got a lot of buddies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, our energy, our ener we having such a problem with energy as well. I did not like that sound. Uh. 
Oh, and a raider as well. Oh my goodness. This game really is throwing everything it possibly can at us. Ah! Yeah, seriously. Well, give me my ultimate. That would be nice! Another teleport drone! <laughs> Thanks, Alec! Oh my gosh! <laughs> That timing was horrendous. Oh my gosh! Come on, Scout! I'm gonna I'm gonna cycle my weapons to where we're actually gonna maintain some benefits here. Alright, alright, enough screwing around. It's oh. almost like that scout's made of aluminium. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's see. We could go for a coil gun, but honestly, that hasn't really been teaching us or giving us that much benefit. Um, we're probably going to just go straight for the rail gun here. Might as well make it superior since we have the resources. Repair kinetic damage. Okay, that should be nice. 10% chance for each shot to increase all damage dealt to the target. That's also really nice. And fully charged shots destabilize the target for eight seconds. Oh my gosh, these are, these are actually really nice. I am pleased with those results by quite a lot and honestly I even though this let's see we, we don't have any other commanders okay yeah so I think we're gonna use the railgun here just straight up but we're also going to uh, complete this task where you at outlaw sniper drone there we go challenge completed We have unlocked Aaron. That doesn't feel like that's doing a lot of damage. Move our position over a little bit. We got two engine colors. That might actually be a bug. We should have only unlocked one there. This should take it out. I forgot you have to hit the target in order to take them out. Silly me. Let's try that again. There we go. Much better. I'm also noticing that we actually have a uh, damaged energy core, which is probably why everything sucks so much. Actually, let me rephrase that. That is why everything sucks so much. So we'll need to get that uh, repaired ASAP. That teleport drone! <laughs> oh <laughs> Let's answer some questions. <laughs> I think if people ever wondered why we put teleport drones in, we've just got the answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's so funny because, like, yeah, the heavy... The, one of the reasons why we did have them added is because you could play from a distance very safe and we're like we need something to kind of like mess in that territory um yeah <laughs> among other things there's there's a couple other reasons why the, the teleport drone was added um but yeah i'm getting a little too comfortable now i'm like oh yeah i can just cheese it no no i actually can't so all right but yeah let's answer some questions uh gary go ahead and join me on the screen if you so desire oh perfect Bye. Excellent. There we go. So uh, right, uh, we've got a few lined up. Um, first off, over on YouTube, uh, hello to Fred Speck there. And he's got a question. Uh, now that the Scout has had a, a redo, uh, can we expect to see any similar changes to other ships? We are constantly looking 
at how the balance and the feel of all of the ships are with the various equipment and tools at your disposal. Um, while it is incredibly not likely that we will have any other ship changes, um, I suppose that it is a possibility. Um, but as of right now, I can fully say that the only ship that has received any amount of changing of any type of foundational ability um, or uh, attribute or what have you is actually the scout and what we are showing right here right now. And again, a big reason for this particular change is to make the Scout more fun, more usable, more diverse. And yeah, because beforehand, there was only one way to use the Scout. That was it. Just one. And everybody used it the exact same way. We are hopeful. And through our playtesting, uh, it does seem that by alternating the ultimate into a way that increases critical hit chance across the board as well as providing benefits to your cloak based on kills, it's getting more use in more ways, especially with some of the new legendaries, I suppose. So, yeah. Marvelous, marvelous. Um, I've kind of already answered this one uh, to Thor of the Angel over on YouTube. He was just wondering if there's any update on the Art of Everspace 2 book arriving in uh, the Amazon UK store, it seems to be taking a long time. And I said, we are kind of in the lap of the gods with in terms of logistics we're still waiting on that to finalize but uh fingers crossed uh very very soon very very soon same for yeah. the other uh, stores that it's not reached yet as well yep yeah as in so everybody is aware currently you can get the art book through the u.s market as well as the uh german market um those are the only two uh locations uh we will let you guys know when they are expanding further um yeah there you go oh wait it's also in canada right i forgot right america and canada and germany yes okay so but yeah we'll let you know as that expands outward because we want to get those into your hands the the art books are incredibly nice um they're yeah there's a lot there's a lot in them way more than we ever anticipated there would be so see i wonder if we can hang on I'm going to answer more questions, but I want to see if I can get just make a repair kit and, and fix this up. Do we have a repair kit? We have a... Re <laughs> <clears throat> All right, cool, cool. All right, what's another question we have? Uh, right, we've got one from Wizard Jerry uh, over on YouTube, and he's wondering, uh, the, with the behind-the-scene changes to the, uh, to the scout, mm -hmm. what was the thinking behind it? Um, did you feel like it was just not good enough, or maybe they could do it better? Yeah, so the, the short of it is that we just felt like the Scout's ultimate was a little underwhelming for what we wanted it to be be for the player. Because um, as it stands, the Scout is meant to be this more ranged fighter than most of the other ships. And the ultimate was there to kind of like service that. But we also had this mentality in making Everspace 2 to avoid restricting options to any of the ships. Um, so if anyone's familiar with Aerospace One, you'll know that certain ships simply cannot use certain weapons or tools. Uh, if you are like in an interceptor, for example, um, you don't have the ability to cloak like at all. If you are in, or wait, no, that's, is that correct? I think actually, I think the, the cloaking is not dependent on that ship, but Oh my gosh, now my brain is fried because there's so many different things. But there's like certain weapons, okay? Just bear with me here. There's certain weapons that could only be used by certain classes of ships. In Everspace 2, we wanted to avoid that. Instead, we said, we want there to be purpose and use if you go a certain direction with certain ships because the ships are built that way. Like the scout is going to maximize damage in the railgun, for example. But you can use the railgun to pretty great effect with any ship. It's just probably best to use it on the scout. So we kind of limited the scout a little bit by making the ultimate, the previous ultimate, not this one, but the previous one, very specific to using railguns. It was all about, hey, stay at range. And if you're not using range, then your ultimate isn't going to be nearly as good. We swapped that out for something that has that more meaningful desire, our intentional desire to have the ability to go more routes in different ways, okay? That's ultimately what our line of thinking was and why we made this change. We went from it feels a little too exclusive to now there's more opportunities present. 
Nice. Uh, right, a question uh, from uh, Fred Speckman <coughs> again over on YouTube. Um, from a technical point of view, um, is the upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 now complete? Is the quality on that from where we want it to be uh, before we push it out of the door? Does it still need work? Do we have any kind of update on yeah, I can, I can give you an update so much as I can inform you of. Uh, no, we are not done. Um, yes, we are liking the results. Um, yes, we are running into a couple little challenges, but that's a natural process of migrating from one engine to another. Um, for all intents and purposes, you guys can expect what we had claimed would be the case from migrating from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5 to be the result. OK, um, there may be a couple itty bitty discrepancies. Maybe it might not even actually be the case. And if there were any going to be going to be any of those discrepancies, any problems, any issues whatsoever, we're going to make it very clear with all of you out there knowing precisely what would be different. I suppose. But for all intents and purposes, you guys do not need to worry whatsoever about the migration process. We are on it. We're going to make sure that it's doing everything that we wanted it and need it to do. And so far it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a, a reminder, because Eric is actually playing on the Unreal Engine 5 version on our dev build. Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. there you go. We'll see it there live. Uh, right, last question for now uh, from Ghost Wraith over on Twitch. Uh, with all the changes, is there a favorite ship loadout that you enjoy the most? You know, it's, it's kind of funny. We uh, we have some internal testing of going different routes with different builds. I'm going to give a shout out to Jan on the team. He has been phenomenal in not only figuring out new sort of tricks that are possible, but also, um, you know, highlighting internally what some of that looks like. And we've been playing around with more of that to see what crazier things you can do and yeah it's it's pretty satisfying it's pretty satisfying there's some clever stuff that can be <laughs> had um and there's some absurdity as well now for those min maxers out there um it's <laughs> shoot there's there's some legendary items that are going to feel like they're just you have to have it and you might surprise yourself and finding out other routes are actually uh, maybe more optimized for a particular ship or device or just a general play style. It's, there's, there's a lot coming in this incursions update that's gonna diversify the end game in particular. So if you are looking for more, I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised by the new opportunities that will be. Yeah. Very nice, very nice, yeah builds that we've seen very very good and when the uh when the players get it into their hands oof, they're gonna be good builds good builds uh that's it for the time being pilot you're ready to fly cool excellent all right well we're gonna probably leave this area because i like living <laughs> we're just uh we're a little bit under leveled uh or under prepared i'm not sure which <clears throat> maybe a bit of both so eager to try and like finish things off. Oh, by the way, you should, why are you still on the screen? You should be, you should, okay, there it is. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Excellent. So we're gonna try and finish up a couple of these locations. Uh, Outlaw base, that sounds safe. Let's head over there. See what uh, death awaits us. <laughs> All right, so long as there's no teleporter drones, I feel like I'm gonna be okay. But man, those things really screw me up. I'll get that drone out of the, oh. Maybe not. Yeah, you're too close. Oh, too close. It would also help if we could get a level up to max out our teleporter. That would also be pretty beneficial. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at us being competent. It's like an entirely new pilot took control. Crazy. All right. Oh, Wave Pulse Analyzer? Let's check that out. Um, 
I do like that added ship range. Um, less structure, less EMP duration. Eh, we're just gonna scrap it so we don't get it confused with the thing. Oh, a thermo gun. Would this be beneficial as a secondary? We don't have to lock on, or we don't have to track the target. Might be nice since we're running away a lot and our tactical retreat, we can fire behind us. So we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna try it for now. And plug these in. Oh, we have we have three cloak field generators. Let's get all of those on there. All right. Okay, we can probably take this guy out pretty fast, so long as we don't miss. No more shields. Goodbye. Ah, oh, he barely survived that. But that's fine. Here, let's just go ahead and use this because it's fun. Boop. So if you, as you can see, whenever you do get a kill, um, oh, that was not a kill at all. But when you do get a kill, you'll re-cloak for a little bit longer. I thought there were more enemies. Eh, oh well. Surprised that missile hit us. Oh well. And now for the most exciting gameplay experience ever. Where a turret cannot hit us. But I can hit him. L ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Just waiting for that teleporter drone to show up. Be like, nah. -uh. <laughs> Oh, we have to get our outlaw hunt again. Oh, well, hey, that's fine. I'm sure that we've got some uh, team members in chat who would also be able to see if this is actually bugged or not. Um, so whenever I'm saying that, these challenges, so that you guys are aware, whenever you complete them, you get an engine color that unlocks. And you only you you only get one. You only get one engine color for each one. Uh, so if this gives us two, whenever I do complete this, inevitably. Uh, yeah, just ignore that. Just a bug. No big deal. Ooh! I like it. Bonk. All right. Another location complete. Feeling good. I like it. see i think there was a derelict yeah we have nothing there but i think this place only has one secret if i'm not mistaken so this shouldn't take very long oh kazaa i love that tactic kazaa says that his uh his way to take out teleporter drones in the scout is to have the lock on nearest target which is not bound by default you'd have to set that up uh, but then you just basically lock it on, even if it's like behind you. And then whenever it gets close, whenever it teleports in, he uses magnetic repulsor to push it away. That's, that's clever. I like that. Magnetic repulsor is actually one of my favorite devices. Really? I didn't hit a single... Okay. <laughs> ah, great. Redeemers. get some more distance and uh, oh well didn't exactly want an asteroid in the way but you know there we go yeah that's a lot of damage when you're actually at range challenge completed Casper if you see two engines pop up I'm sorry Okay, yeah, so it does look like it's triggering twice. That's just a bug, guys. That won't be there uh, when we get to the update itself. Oh, except it only gave us one engine this time. All right. <laughs> Bug's been fixed during the live stream. No big, no big deal. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Actually, wait. Now I'm thinking about it. Was there were there two? Were there two? Okay, I completed a different challenge. I completed a different challenge. Which challenge did I? I completed the advanced combat. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm a doofus. There's no bug. I just completed a different challenge. Everything's fine. Everything's working completely as intended. The only thing that's not working is my brain, apparently. All right, so this one is destroying specifically a sniper drone. Advanced combat is destroying any enemy from 4,000 uh, or more. Oh my gosh. Everything's fine. Everything's working as intended. Woo! I didn't tell you guys that it's been a week for me, right? <laughs> Apparently that week is still in effect. Whew. All right. Goodness. All right, there we go. We got some Atheum Crystal. Nothing else needs to be worried about here, but I do see a couple containers that we might as well procure. Because, you know, why not? Oh, that one's in there. Okay. Whoop. Good. Single scrap. I like it. All right, there we go. Next. Making good progress, clearing things out. So I do have to ask you guys, is there a specific place that you know that I can show you and not one that I can't, that you would like me to go to and try to attempt at all? Just gonna throw it out there while we are continuing to try and clear this section of Cedo. Uh, did we get all these? I think we did. Yeah, we did. There might be one over here. Ah! Uh, uh, 90%! Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to... Uh, ah! We got a couple over here we're gonna have to go back to. I'm pretty sure we got these. Uh, noted from the message that I just received. All right. So let's see about going over to the ghost fleet for the moment. Something in Keone. Oh, all right, all right. I could probably do that request. So let's first, oh, we haven't done the race here. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we can do the gathering dust here, the citizens of velocity and find the last secret because it's also highlighted. Look at this, nice completion all over the, ah, ah, all over the place, as well as a sniper drone from over. Oh my gosh, he's gonna hit us, isn't he? Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah. I'm being so stubborn about my armor. I actually just need to upgrade my armor. That would that might actually help us survive. Um, geez. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> this is a public announcement to make. When you are a certain level in any video game, like say 25 in the upper right corner, it is not advised to have content on your character in any way, shape, or form to be six freaking levels lower than your current level because you are asking for pain and suffering. All right, thank you for this public service announcement. We're gonna continue moving on. I wanna get one of those sniper drones though. Whew. We can do it. Can't wait for the next excuse, oh my gosh. All right, well, all right. If you guys really want me to, fine. I will start playing with my hands instead of my feet. Oh, jeez. Didn't realize I was gonna have to do this, but here we are. All right, another, another engine color, feels good. Uh, that's gonna miss. Oh, we got it! Excellent. Uh, prospectors suck. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Let's see if we can maximize our range a little bit more. Oh man, they're they're also fast. What? Slow down. Slow down, you. 
I just want the crit chance. Of course, we didn't get like a single. Oh, wait! Did that crit? Oh, that critted! We got him in like that last shot. That feels good. We didn't get him in that one. Nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. Maybe we need to start investing in some uh, energy injectors for the time being until we get a little bit better stuff. Thankfully, we're still moving just enough. There we go. All right, one more down. Do we speed up elite overseers or something? My goodness. Two point two. All right. Let's just increase the distance a healthy bit more, and just start chunking away. Boop. Oh my gosh. I think we've brought him down his health bar by half a pixel, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy. Oh. We're fighting literally everything that just uh, is not good for us. All right. Let's try and get cheeky here. Pull out all the stops. Here we go. I wonder how effective this will be. I'm not sure, but... We'll find out. I thought you used a secondary. Oh, he did. He did. I I'm using secondaries. What are you talking about? <laughs> now we're out of secondaries. Whew. All right. Yeah, man, this is... Uh, we need to focus in on some more armor, armor damage. This is fine, though. This is nice. I like how I'm safe. Oh, whoop. Spoke too soon. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> Freaking energy failed me right there. Jeez. <laughs> Each one of these battles is just like, what? And for anybody who's asking, um, I mean, this guy is two levels higher than us. We are playing on Nightmare. So, there, yes, there are factors there. Plus, some of my equipment does stink. Yes, um, that's no excuse. None of those things are excuses. That's just where we're at. That's just what we're dealing with. Could I fix some of that? Yes. Am I being stubborn about this? Also, yes. Sometimes you just got to work with what you got, and uh, what I got isn't really that great. <laughs> this should get him. All right. Cool. Excellent. A bunch of stuff we can't use. That indicates just how much higher level than, uh, than we are. So let's go ahead and start taking out some of these things. We'll use that. Uh... Firepower instead of structure, but decreased EMP. That should be fine. Get rid of the goss. Maybe we should have ourselves repair a damaged item every 90 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the situation we're in. Oh my gosh. See. Oh, I want that. Let's uh, let's actually do that. Let's go ahead and modify this guy so that we can use it. Uh, remove level restriction. Boom. Tuned energy core. We basically doubled our energy, guys. Oh my gosh. That's... I I feel like I should be embarrassed? That's, that's ridiculous. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, so we're going to absolutely get rid of this. We're just going to take these because we have room. D 
doubled our energy. Wow. All right. Oh, that's that's a shield. Okay. I want in. How do you get in? Nope. Man, this is bringing back... Man, I don't know why, but there's been a lot of things. It's probably because I've also been playing a little bit of Everspace 1 lately. But there have been a lot of things that have just, like, very much brought back that those core memories of Everspace 1. Like, the first time you ever go into, a, like, a colonial derelict in Everspace 1, for example. Oh, my gosh. It's a lot like this, where you're, like, looking around. You're like, how do I get in there? I want that. I want, where do I, how do I get that? You know, like, that's exactly what I'm feeling right now. It's just, like, straight up Everspace 1 vibes. Here we are. We've discovered. We've discovered it. We know what we need to do, though. We just need an energy sphere. And that's going to be next to the race. Oh, yeah, because we fly all the way down the, the race path to plug it in. Excellent. All right. Let's do that. And while we're doing this, since we're poking about a bit, let's go ahead and start answering some more questions that have built up. So, Gary, go ahead and join me back on the stream. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. There we go. Um, I would ask you a question. If I actually had oh any, my gosh, everybody's no been questions. that stunned with your ability of dying. I think you've um, quietened them all down and they're just... You know, I don't mean to brag, but I'm really good at dying, okay? Like, <laughs> definitely have improved since the last time. <laughs> yeah, I can see you've been putting in some training there, some serious That's effort. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, away with you, then. I cast you away. All right. Excellent. Well, if you guys do have questions, though, by all means, shoot them our way. We would love to help answer. Otherwise, continue watching me unlock things and hopefully not die as much. But if I do, may it be a glorious death and at least some semblance of hilarity. All right. So we've got this guy in now so we can get this bulletproof container. Scatter gun. Not going to use that on the uh, scout at all. <laughs> Hopefully for obvious reasons. <coughs> Let's go ahead and do a race. This ship does not feel very fast, so my guess is going to... Oh, we need to do the mission first. I, I forgot about that. My guess is going to be that um, we are going to get gold. That's my thought. We'll obviously hope for, for better, but... Now, isn't there... Where is the... Isn't there a thing nearby? You know, the thing. Where's the thing? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Oh, there's always a thing. There's always a thing next there to the doodar over there, yeah. There it is. I found it. I found the thing. So now it's... Wait, no, that wasn't the thing. That we're still <laughs> definitely... <sighs> there's a hole somewhere. I know it. Is this it? Is that... It's definitely... Definitely not it. I feel like we're getting warmer. Yeah! <laughs> All right, fine. Let's see. Cables running this way. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you going? Can I? Nope. Nope, we already looked at the side. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling, I'm feeling. Feeling off. There should be a hole, right? Am I thinking of the wrong location? Or maybe these there's connections to a, a shield generator on the outside over here somewhere? Let's look all the way down here. Let's just go all the way down. Let's just have ourselves a little look -sy. There's nothing there. Aha! Aha! Get out of here! All right. Follow the cables, ladies and gentlemen. Follow the cables. All right. Let's hack this terminal. Whew. Whew. 
All right, now let's complete this race or attempt to complete it. Again, my guess is going to be gold. What are your guys' guesses? Think I can get platinum? Think I'm barely going to scratch silver? What do you think? What do you think? Oh my gosh. I look over the chat and like just making sure I haven't missed anything and everyone's just saying I'm full of excuses today. All right, that's fine. If that's the way you want to be, guys, no problem. No problem. Michael, we need to uh, hold back the uh, incursions update uh, by three months. Uh, the reason is because I feel like it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not how development works at all, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay, maybe we're not even gonna get gold. Oh, come on, please, no! I just want gold! Ah. No, we missed it. We got silver. The pain! The pain! Michael says, sure. <laughs> but I know that was a very sarcastic sure. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we're gonna call that completed for now. Oof. Because we got 100% in this area, too. I'm making good progress on completion. I'm making bad progress in the realm of survival. Uh, but, you know, it happens. It happens. Let's see. We got 100% here. Good, good, excellent. Wait, there's another gathering dust? Oh, that's Palem's Wound. Okay. For a second, I thought that was also in the Ghost Fleet. What in the world? Zip on over here. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have a couple of questions that have come in in the in the interim. If you uh, want to answer them, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and join us on stream and uh, let's uh, again <laughs> definitely let's cover it. All right, uh, Tiberius Assyrians over on Twitch. Uh, it's just been reading up on the uh, Kickstarter update that's just gone out uh, with regards to the new scout. It's um, mm -hmm. a more engaging ult, but to clarify. The expertise is going to remain at percentage damage bonus for the range. Uh, the yes, that is anything. that is correct. Oh no! Can we get him before he gets us? Oh! And that explosion is going to be painful. Let's answer that question very directly by just showing you the special is still Ranger, deals four percent increased damage per one hundred meters distance to target. So that is not changing. It is just the ultimate that has received the update uh, to get grant that critical hit chance. And by getting kills, you will extend the duration of the cloak itself. So happy to clarify that as we are going to have our shields shut down right now. Oh, they missed. Cool. Excellent. Next question. <laughs> Uh, next question is from Slurine over on YouTube, and he just wanted: uh, Did the choice to not release the game on previous uh, generation consoles have anything to do with the planned move to Unreal Engine 5? Now, I have kind of given him an answer, but uh, I think uh, it'd be good to clarify it to everybody else. Yeah, I mean, the, no, it, it, it's not. <laughs> like, the, the main reason why we are doing the upgrade, the, uh, the move, the migration, is because we want to continue supporting the game. We want to continue supporting you, the community. This helps build our relationship with Epic in a much greater way as well, because if we were still in Unreal Engine 4, it's going to be a lot more difficult to get that support since everyone at Epic is on Unreal Engine 5, and that's their focus, right? So by us moving over, that means that we can not only stabilize everything that is to come in Everspace 2, it also means that we can continue supporting it. It means that we can continue not only listening to you guys, but also subtly implementing uh, elements that would be best for you guys as well in all of those powerful and prominent ways. Now, I do want to stress, in all of the things that I just said here, it does not mean that we are taking Everspace 2 to a whole new level no not no no we want everspace 2 to retain as rich and as deep as possible as it is right now and keep everything about that almost exactly the same as we move it over to unreal engine 5 we're not using this as some sort of like souped up experience sort of thing this is entirely about maintaining that focus and direction of everspace 2 with the rich support behind it okay if there was some new tool, feature, whatever, that could be utilized from Un Unreal Engine 5 that we simply couldn't have in Unreal Engine 4, we're going to take every precaution known to man to see if that would be a functional route. And then if 
that is, we would communicate it to you guys to know what to expect. And since you guys haven't heard anything, you probably know that it's very unlikely that we're gonna move into new territories because that's never been the intent of this migration. It's possible, but that's never been the intent. So thank you for asking that question so I can provide that clarity. What else we got? Uh, we've got a question from Axel over on YouTube. Uh, he's not sure if this has been asked before, but you mentioned in the blog that light fighters have an extremely low percentage of use. Uh, ties into a question we did answer earlier, but does that mean that other light classes will receive a touch up as well? No, not, not particularly. Um, the scout is the one that we saw has an incredible niche to it. Whereas the other two fighters have a lot more flexibility. So what I mean by that is that whenever you're looking at the core functionality of the Vanguard, the Vanguard is a close range light fighter, which sounds counterintuitive, but because it's so fast, it can actually gain a lot of benefits from a lot of different equipment, a lot of different equipment. And there's also a lot of tools to help it get out of those situations, to get into those situations you know, all of these different aspects of it, make it a very well-rounded light fighter with that direction moving forward. Then you look at the Stinger and the Stinger's like, oh, hey, you like using devices? Of course you do. You have a spaceship that has devices, so you're inherently going to use them. And it enhances those features by giving you greater firepower, which everybody loves, hence why there are so many people who also use the gunship. And so the Stinger also isn't very much affected by any sort of properties being in a niche place, because it's not. It's also very all around. It can use any weapon and increase any of those firepowers. And it also can in use any of the devices and increase the effectivity on all of those. Then we move over to the Scout and the Scout's like, I'm kind of a one trick pony and oops. Yeah. So not a lot of people want to change, even fluctuate from a play style that they know can kind of be modified or adjusted in some unique way here and there. Because when you move over to the scout, now it's like, oh, I have to adjust to this very specific play style. And we wanted to kind of scale that back at least a little bit by making the ultimate more appropriate for more play styles. Okay. So we also kind of talked about that, but that is one of the biggest reasons why we are updating the ultimate on the scout. It's to make the scout more flexible while still having the advantage when it does come to ranged weaponry. So those of you who love that ranged play style, the scout is still going to probably be your go-to. I mean, I could see some advantages in the gunship as well, blah, blah, blah. But like, the scout is absolutely the king of that, but by updating the alt, you still have that advantage as well as all of these other opportunities with other sort of play styles and tactics that couldn't really be that effective, if at all, with how the ultimate was designed prior. Whew. So yeah, just tweaking the scout. Just tweaking the scout. <coughs> you uh one quick question coming from crimson uh when you intended to balance the ship's weapons and modules what are you balancing for they see a strong meta in the wrist for example aoe is doing so much better than single target in their opinion yeah no and that's that's generally going to be an effect of most shooters actually um crowd control equipment is almost always like preferable in in games because you can stack them all right and they get really really crazy that's where you're at okay i don't need to worry about you um, uh, and we don't really want to take away from that because it's fun. So if you want to have this very heavily focused build that can do a lot of damage to a single target, there are opportunities to do that. Generally speaking, they are mixed into having crowd control effects and yeah, that's okay. We don't really want to nerf that. We don't want to make it to where it's like, oh yeah, you use an EMP generator. It only lasts for a half a second. Good luck. You know, like that, that would suck. We want to have these sort of crazy combinations that are still possible and very much still viable in a lot of different ways. And we take a lot of things into consideration, not just the fact that, oh, crowd control does a lot of damage. Sometimes the answer is, well, how do we make it to where we could do a lot more single target damage through uh, this sort of way or means? 
So instead of that nerfing this, we say, oh, well, let's just bring this up to kind of the same level if we can. That's our, that's the overarching mentality. So. Right, that is definitely it for now, pilot. You're free to fly off. Okay, cool. All righty. Well, hopefully we can uh, find the other server over here because I think one's going to generate. Oh, I forgot about these guys warping in. Ah! Let's... Oh, I want to get the armor drone. Come on, please. Ah, oh, we missed. Under level. Oh, sorry, Gary. You're still you're still on screen, aren't you? Sorry. Go away. You go away there. You're just like hanging out, you silly goose, because I didn't push a button. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna die again. <laughs> Wait, I have I have an I have an idea. I can cloak. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, let's try to get this guy. Boop. Should probably be more mindful of the devices that I'm using in retrospect. But you know. What can you do? There's one more. Let's just get a little up close and personal here, because I want to Ow! You gotta be kidding me! Me first! Oh, <laughs> None of these shots are hitting. Okay, all right, all right. Maybe we don't want to be up close and personal. All right. Looks like the mission actually concluded. Let's just leave. Let's just go. Let's just go. I think we got 100% completion, right? Oh, crap. I don't think we got stuff. Oh, no. We have to go back. No. Do we have to go back? No. We have to go back. <laughs> well, we don't, we don't have to go back, but... Okay. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's also get some... Oh, whoops. We don't want to pause during the, the screen because then it does that. Oh. All right, let's just, let's do a quick double check on challenges. Okay, we have all of that 100 as well as the thing. Okay, so we do need to go elsewhere now. Craft an energy core. All right, well, we can do this one. We have the technology. Let's craft an energy core. Energy core crafted, except perfect What else do we have? Uh, unlock all common module blueprints. Perfect, new color. Just like that, easy peasy. Uh, high risk areas uh, with Daredevil, oh my goodness. Next up is going to be Kite Nebula, completing four location challenges. We're just gonna mark that. Maybe we just need to go right now. Yeah, that's definitely what we should do. Yep, don't wanna be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! all right i'm still hopeful that we'll get a legendary to uh show its face but uh if we don't that's just the way that it's gonna be but if we don't get a legendary guys even though michael's here i'm still gonna tease something <laughs> close your eyes michael close your eyes <laughs> uh, it's not gonna be anything that he uh isn't expecting at least I hope. I guess we'll find out. It'll be a surprise for everyone. Including my paycheck. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright, so we're back at Rhodia. I don't think we need to dock. Yeah, I think this is just a matter of warping over where we need to go. Oh, Michael, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm just screwing around. You know, the usual. Alright, so we want to go to Kait Nebula, right? 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 That's what... That's Kite Nebula Explorer. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So let's head on over to Kite Nebula. 
to the Bree Bioplant, which also needs more stuff unlocked. I don't really want to do that chain of events here right now. I want to unlock another engine color. We're getting a lot of engine colors. Getting some really cool engine colors, actually. Um, I am going to answer a question that I do see in chat just right now. Um, so, because I think it is pretty relevant. So I saw the question mm -hmm. from Gordon Lynn, who's asking, is there an idea to have the scouts ultimate charge faster to use more frequently to ensure better survivability? Um, so I am not actually in a great uh, space to recharge my perks very fast. Because um, my ultimate is, let's see. Yeah, my ult is upon um, using it, I gain armor as opposed to other ways to increase my alt gain. And I also have no modifiers, I don't think, that help any amount of alt gain whatsoever. Also thinking about that, I don't think you guys have modifiers that would help any type of alt gain. Anyway, so we don't have a means to increase those details at this time. Sure would be great if we added something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i'm sure you guys are pretty well aware of the fact that with any update we're not just adding a couple of items there is a strong intentionality to look across everything that we've done so far and see territory and room for improvements right so it should not come as a surprise that there could be other means uh, or abilities for that stuff All right, we want to complete location challenges here. So we've completed that one. Uh, clear the racetrack. Okay. Uh, what else we have? We've completed a number of location challenges, even though the data says we've only completed one. That's a little concerning, but I guess we'll see what happens. I saw an interesting comment. I just want to read it aloud. It says, sounds like Scout shouldn't use a fast firing weapon then. And then there's a Kappa face. Um, so I know it's a joke, but honestly, what is nice and forgive me for responding to a Kappa like it's a serious comment, but sincerely like a part of this change. And I'm putting a lot of emphasis on this because like this is a big part of this stream to help you guys understand this. Um, this ultimate was redesigned so you can much more maximize fast firing weapons as opposed to only those single shot rail guns. Okay. So it's, there's a much greater effect here. Um, whenever you have that additional critical hit chance um, and being able to extend cloaks by getting those kills too. So, yeah. Thanks for permitting me to take that comment more seriously than it should have been. <laughs> Cruise missiles! That could be super nice. Especially considering the uh, other missiles were completely depleted. Can I also get an audio check really quick? I want to make sure the game sounds fine, right? Right, everybody? Just looking over and it's it looks like it's quiet to me, but I just want to... I'm just checking. Just making sure. Alright, so we need to uh, clear the racetrack of anemones. Um, the racetrack's over here. Right? 
right? Wait, where is the racetrack? It's right there. Okay. All right, so we're just going to follow the racetrack. We're going to do the race, but we're going to take it slow. <clears throat> I'm seeing that the game audio is quiet. All right, hang on. Let me adjust. Yeah, you've turned yourself down, Eric. We, we can't hear you. back yep i think you're back it's back i'm gonna do one quick okay well that was very strange uh i think something about my audio application just decided to completely uh fail just died i'm not sure why that happened i'll have to look into that after the stream I didn't get any pop-ups or notifications or any weird Windows update, any things like that. So, uh, yeah, definitely we'll need to explore that. Sorry, guys. But is the game audio better? Is it still too quiet? You want it higher? Here we go. So we want to destroy all of these guys. Perfect. We don't technically have to finish the race, but why not? Wait, I can scan that too? What? Oh, whoops. All right, well, that's fine. Why are we scanning them twice? All right, whatever. Let's get some copper. All right, location challenge complete. Let's go to the next one. I really want to try and finish this before we move into our last segment of the stream. Game sound is very quiet. All right. All right, I'm going to try and boost it too much, and you guys tell me if it's too much or not, okay? In the meantime, we're going to go... Why do all these say they're completed? Oh, here we go. I haven't been to the ancient citadel yet. Oh, this one's a big one. Mm, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this in time. We have to try. Everyone's giving the thumbs up now, it seems, on the sound. All right. Yeah, it's interesting. Thank you guys for your feedback. I'll make sure that you, I'm gonna take a lot of notes actually, cause my, my audio admittedly was doing something a little funky, which is why at the start of the stream I was asking those questions, but. All right, yeah, investigate the secret. Oh my gosh, we have to, we have to do all of these things. Oh my gosh. 
This is definitely going to be where we end the stream, because there's <laughs> no chance that we're going to finish this. But we'll start doing a little bit of it. So as we are moving through this territory, go ahead and keep thinking of the questions that you want answered, guys, because we will have another question answer segment. So all the... Uh, as a crusader. Ah! Just do this. He's supposed to get around his shield. We're having a lot of trouble getting around his shield. Oof. Okay, all right. 32. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> So we need to uh, focus in on finding the ancient pieces scattered about. Also going to pick up this phasium. So I have a feeling I'm going to need that for some uh, upcoming upgrades. Actually, how am I doing on my perk with Tureen? Oh yeah, we need we need lots of things. Lots of things. I want to get a tier 4 specifically before we finish up the mainline mission here because it's just it's just better we're flying a tier three right okay i was about to cry if it was like a tier two just like <laughs> it's one Whoop, that's not a hole It's good to see that the stream has become much more fluid, though. I did tweak some settings since the last time, which was admittedly a, a while back, but um, things seem to be operating much better. That's not a simple effect of being an Unreal Engine 5. Um, as much as we would love to say, oh yeah, optimization's gonna be so much better. We've seen some improvements, um, but it's not, you know, like if any of you guys are waiting on Unreal Engine 5 to be this sort of magical transformation for your, um, for your gameplay experience, please don't. Uh, we never claimed it was going to be. We have been looking into some of the features and abilities of that could potentially make it better. But uh, remember, that's not the overarching goal. If we can, we will but uh, do not expect miracles. <clears throat> uh, oh, we need to do this so we can add... Wow, I didn't realize our precision was so bad. I haven't even looked over at the right side of the screen. Poof! Poof! Woof! All right, let's maybe just increase our expertise here. I mean, honestly, we've actually been fighting so many enemies up close. How much different is this going to be? Not much. We're going to increase our precision instead. We want to do that instead. All right. Kind of keeping tabs on the time. We're going to be transferring over to highlighting a lot of really cool screenshots. Um, and uh, answering questions here in about five to eight minutes. Let's start finding some more. Oh, nope, you need to, is it through here? I don't remember. Gosh, I love the aesthetics of this game. It's so nice, I just wanna like turn the HUD off and just, it's so nice. I was get my face out of the way, bye. Woo, oh, look at that. Goodness, it's just, I saw a comment the other day, I can't remember if it was on the forum or Reddit or whatever, but somebody was like, why does everyone say this game looks so great? It looks awful. Like, and I'm trying to understand where they got that from. <laughs> like, what are they comparing this to? <laughs> and it just, gosh, I'm just always floored by what we've been able to accomplish here. I think our, I, I think our team has done a, a tremendous job with our level design and the visualization. Pretty stinking cool. All right. 
Look at me getting distracted, not making progress, but, you know. It is what it is. Alright, so there's that one. Let's just kind of follow the trail. Oh, it goes down there. Was it... Is it, is it that pathway? Oh my gosh, I think it is this pathway. I had my HUD off. It's my own fault. Yeah, okay. Follow the lights! It's like it was designed that way or something. Jeez. Alright. Okay. There we go. Might actually finish this off. Nah, I'm probably gonna cut it short a little bit. I will have to leave like right as the stream ends, so I can't really do too much ridiculousness. Um, I just have to remember where I'm facing. Ah, oh, there you are. Mm, yep, yep, there we go. Very good, very good. Deed is done. I think it's up here. Where am I going? Nope, 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 it's over here. All right. Beautiful. All coming together. I suppose if we wanted to sneak in uh, answering a question or two, we could do that right now. Gary, do you have any questions? Uh, I've got a couple, couple lined up. Ready to right. yeah. Um, right, we've got one from Crimson Cam again over on YouTube. Um, what's your personal opinion on the current balancing state, especially looking at the end game content and the upcoming incursion? State? How do you feel it is going? I'm not sure you understand the weight of that question. <laughs> <laughs> um, but to simplify, I am pleased with the results of where things were at and how things are going what it's looking to do um, across the board. Um, if we wanted to get like super specific, you know, I could say, oh yeah, you know, like, I really don't like X and I'm really happy with Y. Guys, there's so much that changes when you add one little thing in a pool of, even if it's five, you know, because there's this multiplicative uh, expansion to everything that's occurring, right? And when that happens, some stuff goes exactly the way you want it to and some doesn't. And then you find other ways to tweak and refine and balance. But uh, sincerely, I'm just going to go back and say, like, f for the most part, no, no, not even for the most part. It's just, it's a resounding. It's a resounding, yes, things are much better. Things are much more clear. Things are much more fair. And things are much more enjoyable based on how we've been moving into this phase of the in-game uh, content within the Incursions update. Just across the board, truly, it has been very much a pleasure to see our team working together with our ideas and you know exploring what some new ideas might be even if they do sound ridiculous sorry hans christian um and uh yeah like we've really made some yeah it's yes 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 is the answer so it's good excellent oh, right uh, we've got a, a question you might be able to answer uh, from kizor over on twitch um does the lock target impact how aim assist performs i.e if there's two targets on top of each other will aim assist prioritize the locked target um that's a great question that i actually don't know the technical answer of i would have to get back to you on that one um with a response from actually i'm not sure who would have those specific details if cast is i saw casper in the chat earlier if casper is still in the chat maybe he would have that response um but no, that's a that's a very technical question, and I love it. But I uh, I do not know. I do not know. I don't think it does, but that's not that's not an answer. I don't know. I don't think. Nah, no, I, I want to give you the proper response. So if you would would be so kind as to message me on Discord or write in the uh, forums on Discord or on Steam for that matter with that question, I would be very happy to follow up with you on that to give you the 100% response to it. 
It's a great question. Great question. No, Hans Christian didn't get burned. I was burning myself. I come up with crazy ideas sometimes, and then Hans Christian has to entertain me. Um, and Marco <laughs> then says, no, stop it. <laughs> it's great. It's we, we have a beautiful dynamic here. <laughs> You're supposed to give 110%. Uh, no, I mean, that's true, but when you're when your ideas need to be centralized here and you're over there, uh, sometimes you gotta rein it in, right? Yeah, that's good. Uh, don't worry, we've refined that process over time and things have gone much more smoothly. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna enter this location. Uh, we are getting a little bit tight on time, um, but uh, Gary, did you have another question to answer? Uh, nothing currently. Nothing. Okay. At all. Well, you can stay on the screen with me because I mean we're gonna we're gonna jump over to that other screen in just a moment. It'll be super duper. It's so no big deal. All right. So yeah, just mm -hmm. I know. Deck all screen. The job. <laughs> and before we uh, go through here, I just wanted to just have a nice little look around. These. It's no big deal. Uh, uh, we're probably gonna die again because I did that. Oh gosh. All right, we're gonna save here. I'll be right back. Don't leave. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Super duper. It's almost like we switched there just before you died again. Oh my gosh, I know, right? It was totally, uh, completely planned. <laughs> All right, here we are. I found the things. Except I lost the chat. Chat, where did you go? Come back to me, chat. Come back to me. There you are. Ah, oh, one big happy family. Here we are. Welcome, welcome. Look, there's Gary. Oh. Oh my goodness, so delightful. So good. All right, so we've got some photos to go through. <laughs> uh, ranging from, I mean, all of these were actually taken from Discord. I have seen some of these actually posted on Steam. You guys can submit screenshots to our Discord specifically or on Steam or anywhere, honestly, and you just wanna tag us. We love highlighting screenshots. They are delicious, they are gorgeous. Uh, so don't be shy. It is wonderful to have you. So uh, this first shot comes from 8-Bit Vic. They, I believe they were starting over a, a new save. They were just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. And I love it. I love that mentality. It's a great shot. Uh, it's, you know, it's that very early game into the unknown feeling. And I, I think it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're gonna be cycling through photos a little bit faster just so that we can ensure all everyone's photos do get seen. Um, Geekbyte or Gary, if anything does show up in the questions wise, I'm gonna count on you to interrupt and ask so we can keep moving forward. Certainly, sir, certainly. Excellent, so this shot comes from Excel. I think the alignment here is what really brings us home. Um, I think it was done expertly. Love the colors as well. Just bringing everything together uh, to make it seriously pop. Um, Excel is one of our galactic photographers for a reason and this definitely shows that. Uh, anyone can obtain the galactic photographer role. They are mostly approved through myself, but I generally get a second uh, individual that uh, will approve that uh, for you guys. Michael has, uh, I think at one point, chosen a couple galactic photographers because sometimes he will choose your screenshots as marketing material. That's how good they are. So of course we're going to highlight you and make you a galactic photographer. This shot comes from... Uh, XE, XE, E X S I E. A couple of nice scenic shots. I think this is the first time I've seen shots from this user, but definitely appreciate them. Love the shots that are just kind of like going out into the wild blue yonder or purplish pink in this case. Uh, but it's a classic shot. Looks good. Feels good. You know, you know the drill, guys. You know the drill. This next one also comes from XE. Um, I'm not sure if this was their first rift. This was just like a very climactic moment for them. They really liked the um, ancient details in the back and thought it was a captivating shot of intensity, to which I do agree. <coughs> Excuse me. My goodness. Makes me happy seeing the shots from the rift in Keone. 
Um, I think that the Keone Rifts have some of the greatest backdrop because of that sharp blue from the star you can see in the background here, um, intertwining with the ancient rift effects, those orangey glows. This has a stark contrast. I think it pops. Really like it. We have a number of shots from an absolutely stellar photographer. It's YFP. Um, this individual has actually been featured by us before in mm. um, several uh, pieces. Um, and the, every shot is stunning. I was trying to limit the number of shots um, from the user <laughs> that they had posted, and I worked it down to five. <laughs> so <laughs> so the next tough. five it's shots. Tough. Yeah, the next five shots are all from It's YFP. Keep doing what you're doing because it's incredible. Um, what a beautiful showcase of Everspace 2. Um, very scenic. Gordon is leaving. Bye, Gordon. Excellent. <laughs> Jeez. Next shot as well. It's YFP. Such, such a powerful way to tell a narrative without speaking a word. That's what I love about these composed shots. There's a story to be told here. There's an adventure to be had. And you can feel it just based on the proximity, the scale, the color usage, everything. It's done so well. And that's the big reason why I always shout out It's YFP. Because he's mastered those techniques to tell this story. So good. Here's another one. Great shot of Letho Starport. All the way out in the Drake system. It's crazy because like when you when you look at the Starport in game, in most of the cases, it doesn't, you know, like you're up close, you're inside of its territory. And so you don't sometimes you don't get a sense of its scale, ironically, because like you're so up close to it. You know, you know what I mean? And he intentionally pulls back to get this lavish scene that paints the whole picture. Even seeing like the cargo units in comparison, like it's just so beautifully done. So keep it up. It's YFP because you keep on rocking it. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to choose this particular shot since we did uh, highlight a light ship today. And I thought, oh, light ships could use some more love. Um, just, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, the stinger here. Um, I also noticed, interestingly enough, there isn't a weapon equipped in this shot. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Maybe it was, uh, but uh, maybe like to get the weapons out of the, the scene. I do think it kind of cleans up the shot a little bit more. So clever, very clever. Um, also enjoy those color, that color scheme quite a lot. I always try to get like a goldish sort of effect at times, uh, or even like a bronze-ish one. It's hard to get a bronze coloration, but um, I think it kind of gets pulled off here. It's kind of nice. Very pleasant. This was the last shot that I chose from It's YFP. That depth of field usage does make this look like it's a shot from a movie or even a real life shot. Like that's, I don't know how else to better explain that. You guys can see it for yourself. I mean, I, I think that you probably would all agree with that. It's just like wowing. It's so good. So great how he puts the emphasis on the various targets within these shots. Very, very impressive. And we hope that It's YFP will take the deep dive into the incursions update that is launching this very spring. I mean, we're in spring, so that's got to mean that it's, you know sometime somewhat soon right i don't know probably hope he takes that dive to get even more incredible screenshots from more uniques and uh situations that couldn't be done uh so really looking forward to that keep up the great work it's yfp it is awesome <clears throat> i do see a couple of questions possibly did we have one that we wanted to answer um, there was a question about how well the uh, Xbox Series S version of the game runs. Uh, people are giving comparatives to the X version, um, mm. uh, how it turns out on that, on the yeah. slightly lesser strong hardware of the S. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're comparing the S to X, I mean, generally speaking, you guys know that the S is a more affordable piece of software, uh, software, hardware. So any comparison, it's going to be like, oh, yeah, well, it's not as good, right? You know, just across the board. Um, but that's also the point. It's meant to be a more affordable piece of hardware. Um, so if you are playing off of the Xbox Series S, um, I believe it is, I think it's locked to 30 frames, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it still has the 1080p. Like, it still um, goes up to, you know, the resolution that you need it to. Um, and through our testing, the results were still pretty sound. Like it's, it is a quality, uh, experience through the game. Um, you know, some people are very particular about their frames and they have to have 60 frames per second. If that's you, you probably didn't buy an Xbox series S in the first place. Um, but, uh, yeah, of course the Xbox series X does have 60 frames. Um, but, uh, I digress. That's the, that's the big comparison point that I always throw out there, but uh, the game is exactly the same. There's no differences between the versions. Uh, they run very similar um, aside from the, the frames. So uh, this shot comes from Kowalski, by the way, which is an incredibly satisfying shot. You love to see it whenever you come out <laughs> of your rift to see that beautiful <laughs> little legendary there shining. It's incredible golden light at you mm. as well as a nice assortment of superiors that is uh that's a good drop so congratulations to you kowalski be happy with that yeah that's a that's a good good drop um next shot comes from kamamro i think is how to pronounce that username and i chose a couple from them I think that they had some really good ideas here. I like this action shot that also kind of highlights their custom ship. I always like highlighting custom ships. You guys know that. Um, it's cool to be able to show what you kind of do to everybody else. This shot also comes from Kamamro. Just kind of a nice centralized shot, I guess. You guys liked it on Discord, so I decided to share it here too. <laughs> but I think it's pleasant. I do think it's pleasant. We're also going to jump over to Kaza, another light ship that I wanted to highlight. Because again, you know, light ship today. I think he, he's done a great job here um, in the sun, or not the sun, the uh, star in Keone, pouring out its harmful rays. <clears throat> it's also nice that there isn't any of that... Um, Oh, I forget the term, but it's like the, the border effects. Um, so it's a very clear shot. So we wanted to make sure that was possible through the use of the um, screenshot tool. So love how it's a nice clear shot on that front. We also have this shot from Lehman. Very pleasant as well. If you haven't noticed, I enjoy the shots that are disembarking somewhere that highlight a powerful means to explore or discover and here's no different as well as the fact that it's highlighting their ship <laughs> good 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 oh i uh, michael made a statement and of course of course this is true um the graphic settings are a little bit lower on the xbox series s as well yes absolutely um, very, thank you for that point, Michael. So, yeah, so there's an adjustment to the graphics um, on the Xbox Series S versus the Xbox Series X. But again, most of you guys know that because, you know, the difference between the hardware is truly that one operates more uh, efficiently and one operates with greater performance, right? All right, next shot here comes from Phantom Lord. Phantom Lord had a couple different shots. I chose this one. I think that they uh, did a really good job with this interior space as well as highlighting their ship. I love this ship because it's, it's it's very colonial looking. Very sleek. The color choices are nice and clean. You have a good sense. It's, it's like smooth. Like <laughs> a lot of the ships in the game are kind of like jagged and there's like lots of these mechanical parts. But here it's... You, you've designed like a, a fighter. Like this thing is ready to just go through a slipstream of space. I don't even know 
how that would work, dip into the waters of, of Gilbert uh, and not have any mobility impaired whatsoever. Love the way that that comes across. That is an interceptor, yes. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. And then we got this one. Lots of bright yellow colors from Sly Cooper Reload Coded. Highlighting all of that glorious yellow. I do also appreciate how the ship is just coated in this black to make it a very prominent foreground figure where the background is just kind of its own sort of, there's things going on and stuff to look at, but check this ship out. Uh, and it's nice. I think that he's done a really good job of customizing and making this pretty cool looking vessel. Nice, nice, nice. Just a couple more. We've got Steiny looking to protect his little bitty ship from those horrendous rays. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it, it's it's kind of like how I played all day today. <laughs> And uh, it's great. I, it's great. I think that this captures a, a strong feeling of uh, despair. Uh, <laughs> perhaps cowardice. This is not a disgrace to this it capture. I, okay, it's like, seriously, Steiny, I love this shot. I'm I'm dogging on myself, okay? Uh, but sincerely, I, I appreciate how this comes together. Very, very good. Yes, it's Steiny and okay. <laughs> So, yes, thank you for that clarification. We also have this shot from uh, the Chemical Bro, who always loves those deep, rich colors. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a quality shot. Can't go wrong. I do want to take this moment to ask um, if there are any questions that are lingering, because i got two more left, and then we have to conclude the stream. Nothing yet, so if you've got a question, dive in now, okay. um, or forever hold your tongue until at least the next stream. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, uh, Steiny says this area gave me dread. Glad you enjoy it. Yeah. No. Seriously. Absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. All right. We the last two shots come from Typed Kibbles, who also is kind of on a roll for taking some pretty cool shots. Uh, this one, uh, nice. very much enjoy it. I love how the colors all kind of like blend together while you still have that important contrast between the orange and the blue. Um, it's it's a very well done shot. And last but not least, this one also comes from Typed Kibbles, kind of exploring that territory of uh, depth of field, uh, bringing it all home, and uh, does so pretty well. Love that little, love that little drone. Love that little drone. Just hanging out, repairing all the things. So, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, I do believe that is going to be the conclusion of the stream. Um, Gary, thank you so much for answering questions and thank you for all of you for just being incredibly awesome because that's how you are. Oh, it's so good. I'm really happy that we were able to highlight and discuss the Scout alt. So everybody has an incredibly firm understanding as to why we would do something like that. I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be anybody who's upset by the change. Um, if you are upset, uh, tough, we're not reverting it. Um, but also, uh, there's very much points to be had as to why we're doing this, right? We want everything to be more accessible, more enjoyable, more customizable, and more fun. That's what we're going for. So the incursions update, guys, we're getting closer and closer and closer. Oh my goodness. So uh, thank you so much for your patience as we are working through building all this rich content out for you, as well as the migration from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. We should be having more information for you soon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we just we just posted the, the, the scout uh, details, actually. So there's a new article that posted at the same time in the stream, so you should go read that. It's about the scout. And... But I think we also will have more information somewhat soonish. So uh, don't stop being awesome. We won't stop being uh, Eric and Gary, your community ambassador and manager. Uh, did you have any last things to say, Gary? No, it's been a pleasure. I keep those questions coming on the Discord and Steam and everywhere else. Uh, we're happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Awesome. Hold on, folks. Great. All right, well, guys, have a fantastic weekend. Toodles!
Guys, I realize I don't actually have like a scene to just be a dork with you all. So um, Gary's gonna be up here while I be a dork. Cool? We haven't done this in a long time, so I have no idea how this is gonna go. Um, but enjoy. <clears throat> Can't think of a beat. <laughs> Good stuff. That kind of works. All right, hang on. All right, <clears throat> let's do this. for letting me be a dork for you all. You've been wonderful. It's great. Remember, we do appreciate your support across the board, whether it's in our Discord, on Reddit, on Steam, on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. Also, is definitely there and exists. Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, by all means, keep supporting us in all the ways that you can, even if that's just watching the stream. It seriously means a lot. It really does, because uh, we want to inform you guys, let you guys know on all the things. I've got a question for you all. I've got a question for you all for this weekend. We did have somebody at the start of the stream, I believe it was at the start of the stream, who was asking about having more information shared to them so that they knew if something like a stream cancellation was in effect. My question to you is, where would you like that information to be shown? Nice, simple question. What channels are you watching that you would find out the Everspace 2 news in a single instance. Let us know by way of however you want, whether it's a Reddit post, in a Discord, on Steam, wherever. Let us know, because we want to make sure our communication is as best it can possibly be. All right, I'm over time. You're still awesome. And we'll catch you in two weeks, probably with some information. All right, toodles. <laughs>